I'm Hadija Shekwe for now. I'm from Lamu County. Lamu County is in northeast of Kenya in Africa. It's a county which is bordering Somalia. It's a county which is known for its wide biodiversity, unique biodiversity, the habitable beaches around, their marine parks are around, their national national park around. Lam County has been known for it. It has been recognized as a World Heritage Site because of its unique monument, its unique site which are found. People in Lamu are highly dependent on natural resources. There are those who are who are fisher folks. There are those who are mangrove harvesters. It's like 99, I can say, of people in Lamu, the indigenous people of Lamu, are highly dependent on on natural resources. I'm working with an organization called Save Lamu, which is a community-based organization. It was formed in 20, 2011. It was formed with a main reason of with a main reason of like to be a voice of the community. Since it was made up of 35 civil organizations, people have decided to join hands, the civil organization have decided to join hands so that it can have one voice for the development which are coming to Lamo. Which are these developments? One of it is the Lapset, which is Lamo Port, South and Southern Ethiopian Transport Corridor. It's a development which will link three countries. It's Kenya, Sudan, and Ethiopia. It, it's a large project, a multi-billion uh, project. It, it's a large project which has some minor large project in it. There is a super highway, there, is, there will be a, a rail, rail project in it, there will be a 32 bath project in it, there will be an international airport, international resort city. So it's like it will take the whole of Lamu, the, everything will go. So. So we are like, the government is pushing the government, the development to us. Are we aware of it? We are not. How do we get the information? There's no way of getting information other than, other than just we hear it from the, from the media. So we are like, what should we do now? The join hand. Let's look for a way so that we can express our, our, express our voice to the government. We have no, there is no consultation here. We have no information about this government, which is our right. It's our right to be given information of anything which is coming to our area. This is a development there is in ESIA, Environmental Social Impact Assessment, which need to be done before any project. Is it been done? No. So this is something we need to express. There will be a lot of degradation and environmental degradation in which the community are, are depending on. Everyone in this county are depending on the environment and it will be distracted. Well, there are there ways the government have put so that these people co could continue their life? The population, it has been estimated, it will increase from 101, which is our current population, to 1.25 million. So it's like that is a very large increase of population, which the capacity of LAMO, the resources, the limited resources which are available. Because Ilamo infrastructure is poor, education is very low, health facilities is low. It's like everything. It has been marginalized among the countries in Kenya. One of one of the countries which has been marginalized, it's it's Lamo. So and the project itself is big. So it's like everything in Lamo will be will be lost. So that's why we have decided to join hands and look for ways where how we can fight for for our right. We then joined hand. We started for looking for ways. We started ma making writing letters to the government. One of, one of the things which we did, we did a demonstration. The time when the government was the government was to launch the the project, we did demonstration saying that there is no right, there is no port. It's where. The government demanded people to do the ESIA, which was then produced, but only for the three baths. And the project itself is not only the three baths, it's, there are so many projects in it, and the mitigation measures which were in the ESIA were not adequate, so we, we still wrote a letter to them asking the mitigation, uh, uh, we, we, we provide what we want or which are the ways they can do to mitigate the measure, which we have not seen in the ESIA. 
we, they produce an ESA to us, we provide comment to them what should be included, what should be needed, or we want to know, but we have not heard from them. The other thing is the environmental destruction, where there will be highly destruction of the environment, because where the port will be constructed, it's almost covered with mangroves. There, it's, there is sea, there is an, an ocean around there, so people, there are a lot of people who are using that area as a landing site. So all this will be lost away, so no one can, will be allowed to go to that area. So all these will be lost, and there are no mitigation measures. There are no ways where the fishermen or the mangrove harvester, all the people who are living there have been provided ways. Yeah, so it's like we need to look for ways so one of it was the demonstration we did, of which the ESA was done. Another thing, it was, it was the level of education. We said you are you are bringing the port to us. Well, we are not even educated. So it when they decided to 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 uh, they decided to take some youths. There were two hundred youths who are we were, which have been taken for causes which will be related to the port. The first lot were taken, it was 200, and the other lot, they promised to take 1,000. So they have now taken 400 of, of the youths which are in Lamu County so that they can be educated and get, and get, and maybe when it started, they have some, they have some point, maybe if they can be employed, that we are not sure of that. Because currently the port started in, the construction of the port started in 2011 whereby it's now the, the administration block has been constructed and they promise they will they will employ some of the locals which have never seen since it started. We were there last week. There was no local who is working. It's only the Chinese and some people who are coming from out of, of the of the of the country. So it's like we have to look for ways and especially so that people people could get their right. The other thing is the call. They have proposed since the the port it's the strategy of the country, the vision twenty thirty. So they have to look for ways where they can provide energy to these projects which are for the vision twenty thirty. One of it is the coal power plant, which they have also provided, which has also been proposed to be constructed in Lamo County. We are saying why coal power plant? There are people, the world is moving towards renewable sources of energy. Why are then they are bringing coal, which has a lot of impact to our community, which some other part of the world people are, the world, the, the project are being closed down but they are still bringing us to us. So we are saying no to call. We are saying no to call. We are trying to, li to write letters to the, to the founders of the power plant because we have been writing letters to the, to the AMU Power, which is the company for the construction of coal, but with no, rep with, with no reply. So we are, we are trying to look where they funded to, so that we can, prove, we can write a letter to them, which we have done without a reply up to now, just like a month ago. So we are waiting, maybe they can reply after that. The other thing is the oil and gas exploration. It started, they came to our era for the exploration, for the visibility study in 2012, where they were using some islands where people were living to do their visibility study. So the problem first, what the community experienced, they were people there, they are using wells as a source of their water. There are even some areas where people, they don't have fresh waters, they depend on rainwater, they collect rainwater, we can, we can use for the rest of their life, for the, for the air. So they were using this water for their work. So it's like after they move, after they finish their project, the wells, some of the wells become salty, people can't use, they then disappeared. But we have heard they have come for the offshore exploration and they are doing off, off, offshore of which were not included as a community, were not included, and we have any information about it. So what are ways are we expressing? Are we expressing our views? What are ways in which we are expressing ourselves as a community? One of it is the BCP. We have developed a biocultural community protocol which have been with, with the help of financial justice and Henry Ball, 
it's it's a document which has document all our traditional practices what or the development which are coming to to Lamu, what are their impact so that so that we can use it as advocacy tool whoever want to come to to Lamu, whichever development which has come to Lamu, there is something we can we can provide to them so that they can see what's what is there in Lamu. What need to be preserved? What need to be conserved? What need to be done? What are people saying? So that's why we have decided to develop this book. It's almost finished now. We have not started using it uh, finally. Although in the draft copy, some people have asked, like the UNESCO, there were people from UNESCO site, they were asking for a copy so that you can see with which we have provided it to them. There was a conflict mapping which was done by a Danish group. They also asked for the copy of it so that you can see what the community are saying, with which, with which we have also provided it to them. As an organization, we are experiencing a number of challenges. One of it, it's the distance. We need to reach the whole community, although the whole community in Lamu County. But Lamu County, there are some areas which are invisible. As I said, we have a problem of infrastructure. So it's difficult. There are some areas it's so difficult for you to travel to reach the community. So we, we are like, we can stay like two years without reaching a certain community. The other problem we're experiencing is the insecurity. There's, there recently have been, there have been so many attacks in our county. We don't know why the reason why. So it's something which has put us in a situation like we can't continue what we are doing. And in connection to that, us as an organization, we have been leaked to them. They are saying we were funded by the, by the attacker. So we were like investigated last year. Our documents were taken away like for more like four months. We couldn't continue our work as normal. So it was a challenge to us, although they returned them with, with no word, so we thought everything was well to them. The other problem is the support from the government. For the, for the, for the lab set, at least you can say what you are saying, the government is there to support you, especially the local government. But on the coal power plant, the, the county government, they support, they support the, the project. So they are like, these people are against development. So they are like looking for ways so that they can keep us quiet, you see. So the other problem is the capacity we are having. We are not, we are not, we are few who are working with the organization, although we have community members, but with, let, with less capacity on how to do this thing. So we are like, we have to look for ways on how maybe people can support us so that we can continue this work. The project itself is big, other than us, because we are starting from nowhere and we are dealing with something which is too big to us.